A Southwest Austin mother is still shocked tonight after she says she saw a man touching himself inappropriately just down the street from a middle school. Police arrested him and jail records show he already bonded out. Here's a look at where this happened on Monterey Oaks Boulevard, just a few hundred yards from small middle school. Hank Kevinero spoke with that mother tonight and joins us now in the studio. Hank. Yeah, Patrick, she tells me she didn't actually see the man at first. It was her 11 year old son in the car with her who originally pointed him out, and she says it's something she hopes neither she nor her son ever have to see again. It was just pure shock. She never thought she would see it. Just down the street from her son's school, Clint Small Junior Middle School in Southwest Austin. Kids were already here walking. It's it's unacceptable. I don't know what the solution is. Mary Megan Van Skyver is talking about an incident that happened Friday. So I was on the corner um, turning on to Monterey Oaks Boulevard. That's when her 11 year old son noticed something. He said, Mom, I think that man is going to use the restroom. And I said, surely not. But I mean, there's a gas station right there with a the restroom. And I looked and when I saw him, I realized that's not what he's going to do. He's facing away from the bushes. What in the world is happening? Then she took this picture. Court documents tell us the man's name is Robert Hargrave. Van Skyver says she called 911 and police arrived minutes later and found him. According to the affidavit, the man told officers he was urinating, but Van Skyver says she saw him touch himself in a sexual manner. He repeated that several times over the whole um, light cycle at the light while I was waiting to turn. Now she's hoping that something she never thought she would see, she doesn't see again. While kids are getting let out in a school zone. And police charged the man with indecent exposure, but again, Patrick, he bonded out of jail this morning. All right, thanks so much, Hank.